thank you so much for joining us. As you can see, I'm in the, with a delightful Nicola White. Um, and it's pretty nice out here today, isn't it? It's really, really beautiful. There's no wind and it's very yeah. sunny. Yeah, it's very peaceful. We're in a happy place today, a happy place. Uh, yeah, this is an old river crossing, um, a ferry crossing, sorry. So uh, hopefully there'll be a few things to find. We found a few little bits already. The tide is probably low in about um, 20 minutes. So this is the prime search in time. Hopefully you can hear me all right. And uh, if you've got any troubles with connectivity, let me know. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me and let's start mudlarking. So I've got the first, oh, hello, uh, Dave. How you doing, mate? Found in the ground, joining the chat. Um, so I'll just reduce this thing because it's a little bit shaky. That's a bit better. So the first find um, is right beneath me. I'm going to try and switch the camera around, if I can remember how to do it. It's been a while since my last live. Oh, here you go. I found the button. Um, hello, Tracy. Oh, by the way, yeah, put a, drop a, a comment in the chat and let us know what time it is where you are. I know it's going to be very early for some people or even very late, but the tide predicts what time we're here. We don't make the rules. We don't make the times. We've got to be here when the tide is low, so it can be any old time. And today it just happens to be low at 11.20 a.m. here in old London town. And look what a beautiful day it is. Loads of foreshore to search. Yeah, should be good fun. And it's really hot as well. And I haven't got a drink, so maybe, um... did you bring a drink, Nick? Did, oh, yes. okay, so if I get a bit, then I can nick some of drinks, uh, Nick's drink. Anyway, should we have a look at the first find? Oh, look, Nick is making her, uh, her she's the, uh, one of the many Thames Bankses out there. And she's doing a little doodle there for you guys. <laughs> Hello, Brett, how you doing, mate? <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'll try and say hello to as many people as I can. Hello. Look at that. I wonder if I can zoom in on this. Uh... No, I don't think I can, which is fine, but you can see it there. Oh, is it... Yeah. Uh, you should, uh... that's a lovely post. <laughs> Make a post. Anyway, see if you guys can see this find. It's fairly obvious. I'm sure you guys can see it. Nick, you can see it, can't you? I can, I can see it. <laughs> Really nice maple's mark on the hill as is well. Is there? Is there really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh. So there we go. Side. See? Oh, yeah, so there is. That's a really nice one. You've got like a crown. Oh, yeah. It looks like you've got a crown on there, I think. Yeah, you have. You've got a, a crown and an initial. Nice. On both sides, so that's very. You say 1750s, there or thereabouts? Yeah, maybe a little earlier. Maybe a little bit earlier. Yeah. It's probably it's Georgia. I'm nicking your finds, Nick. You should be getting the pipes. <laughs> I'll let you be I've actually. For the day. Oh, thanks. I've had a couple already, actually. I've got a few other finds. Oh, yeah, Nick gave me this. Um, little car that she found. I'm not sure what model that is. Whether it's a dinky. But that's cool. Doesn't say what. Just made in China. Some little car. And, uh, yeah, what else we got? Got some finds in my pouch there. Uh, I've got a couple of other pipe bowls, bits of junk. Also, I had a necklace, um, which of course, there we go. This is what I found earlier. 17th century car, <laughs> yeah, right. So I found the chain, for, oh, that's cool, silver chain. And on the end of it is um, a little Indian offering. So there's a little prayer. Oh yeah, cool. Oh, thanks so much, Kane. Hopefully you can hear me over the waves. I've got the boats going past today, even though it's a Sunday. Um, hello, LP. I'm taking, uh, I'm assuming that's Pete or one of the crew. Anyway, Nicola, as we was coming down, she found a wine bottle. Unfortunately for us, it's not full of wine. <laughs> but it's got a message in it. So later on, we're going to open it and see what the message is. Yeah. It might even be in a different foreign language. Hopefully. It could be a tourist one. Be able to read it. Yeah, I can see there's definitely writing on there. So we yeah. hang around for a little bit. We're going to open it up in a little while and we're going to see what the message is. <laughs> there might even be a drip of wine left, who knows? <laughs> so yeah, someone uh, once mistook this for uh, yeah, a messenger. <laughs> a pigeon messenger thing. But I found a couple of these today. I've got another, I've got three. So I'm going to put these back before I leave, because I'm not really going to take um, Indian offerings. It's not really, uh, you can take them. They, you know, they don't, you know, they're, 
the guys that offer these things have said to us in the past, yeah, once they've done the prayers and stuff, then, you know, it just turns, it, it, the, the actual process of the prayer is over. So, you, you know, we can, we can take what we like. They don't feel offended by it, but I think I'll leave that. But I'll just pop it in their thing for now. Cool. Uh, right, we're going to head off that way and uh, see what we find. Oh, one little thing to do. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for the super chat, Kane. By the way, I've just had these stickers done because I'm going to Detectable next weekend and uh, lots of people hand out stickers, right? So I thought, when I get some stickers that I can hand out on, is that in reverse for you guys? I don't know if it's in reverse. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll flip it around so you can see, but these are really cool stickers, right? So what I'm gonna do, oh, thank you so much, Melody. You've actually preempted it. So what I'm gonna do, anybody that gives me a super chat, today, I'm gonna send you a Mud Lover sticker. They're the best stickers you can get <laughs> in terms of quality. So um, yeah, what I'll do is, uh, if you set, do any super chat or anything like that, and that this is uh, for the replay as well. If you, if you do drop us a, a little uh, tip, as it were, Oh, you found something? I don't know, we'll go over and see what she's, what she's on about in a minute. But uh, yeah, if you put a super chat, then um, I'll uh, then email scifines at outlook.com, then I'll post this to you wherever you are in the world. So uh, yeah, that'll be a, a two way thank you there for helping me out. So feel free to do that or not, it's up to you. Um, but yeah, they're pretty cool. I'll be taking them to detect, 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 easy, easy for me to say, if anybody, is going to oh thanks Lillian yeah if anyone's going to detectable um <laughs> uh yeah you're right Pete is a, is a YouTuber really YouTuber about stickers I've got stickers on my Etsy store but this is um these are ones I can hand out so I've got like a hundred of them so I'll give a few out of detectable I'll give a few out, a few out to um you guys for supporting me but yeah let's go and do some mud liking it's quite interesting around here because there's loads of um, metal work. Look at all that. So there's a few little bits and bobs in between it all, but it's a case of, uh, you know, laboriously going through it and seeing what we can find. Um, only had one 50p so far, an old 50p. But there's bits of pottery knocking around. But unlike the videos where it's all edited beautifully and I might spend, you know, five hours and three or four finds come up. This is real life. So the finds may not come as thick and fast as you're used to, but it's still nice to um, see you guys. And it's a beautiful morning on the Thames, as you can see. Um, so yeah. We'll go around, see what we can find. It's a bit muddy here, but not too bad. It goes, the force is so strange. One minute it's all gloopy. And the next second, it's hard pack. Then again, it goes to, oh, that's interesting. Look. Spencer, Heath and George? What the heck is that? Is that, is that like a, um, who knows what that is? Anybody? Is that one of those window opener things? You know, like I used to have them at work used to twist them and undo stuff. That's cool though, isn't it? So you must twist it and, I don't know. That's a nice thing, I won't take that today. I might, I might leave it here, but it's got some lovely uh, lettering on it. I am tempted to take that. I don't know what I'd ever do with it, but yeah, pretty cool. Spencer, Heath and George. Does it say it's both on the same side? Let's have a look. I don't know what that says. If anybody gets a second, Google that for me. Oh, gymnastic, gymnastic, ponders. I can't read that. And something, maybe. Blimey. I think the, I think the boat just crashed into the, into the, uh, into that jetty. <laughs> Made a big bang. Cool thing though. Yeah, look it up for me if you would. Oh, is that clay pipe? Look, clay pipe, Hey! Oh, I'm smashing Nicola today on clay pipes. She should be the pipe queen, not me. 
Although I'll be a pipe king, wouldn't I? Cool. That's pipe number four today. I've got well, two, two fairly good complete ones. Oh, so Deborah's saying it's a sport equipment company in Ponder's End. Cool. So what was that for then, that thing? For putting up apparatus or something? Who knows? All right, that'll go in the pouch. Oh, right, so yeah. Um, you can only comment if you've subscribed. Should have said that at the start. Um, so yeah, subscribe, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything and you get notified when the videos drop. So, and you can always unsubscribe later on if you don't want to, but no, subscribe or log in, subscribe, and then you can leave a comment. Um, so that'd be cool. Right, what else we got? Oh, those old posts there look really cool. That's part of the old landing point, I think. Oh, what's that? That's a copper ring. I'll take the copper because I can do stuff with it. And at the very least, it's good scrap. There's my 50p from earlier. I think that's an old, an old style one. 1977. Before my time, anyone born in 77? Maybe. Oh, well, Nick's way up there. So let's go and try and uh, slowly catch her up and we'll have a look as well. There was a box there that I opened, but there was nothing in it, unfortunately. Oh, so uh, Swing Sloth thinks it's from a boxing thingy. That makes sense. Hang it on the ceiling and punch your way out. Oh, look, a thing full of mud. Karen's from South Africa. Oh, I found a nice key earlier as well. Let's see if I can um, fumble that out of my bag while I'm talking to you. Is that it? Yeah, I found it. Cool. There we go. Fairly modern. But it's got a number on it. Uh, yeah, you can see that just about. 620. Cool. Brass key, usually they're iron, so that's a nice one. <laughs> so when me and Nick were um, meeting at the top of the uh, slipway, we found an injured gull. And it was just sitting there with uh, it's one of its wings sort of half out. And we were thinking, do we walk all the way that way? But what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk back on ourselves. And if the uh, gull's still there, give it a little chance to much be having a rest with his wings out because they do having chickens they actually sunbathe people know this wouldn't you pete he loves chickens as well um to look after not necessarily eat <laughs> and uh, they sunbathe so they get there they dry their wings and they sort of spread out a little bit so if he's if it's still there in two hours time then we know that it's probably not very well so i'll, I'll try and attempt to take it to uh, the wildlife center which is there's one near me but i won't film all that because it might be a bit distressing but just so you know that's what we're going to do today and also actually where we went in well went in, when we entered the foreshore um <clears throat> there was a load of rubbish a load of plastic bottles and stuff it was everywhere it's disgusting i don't know if the local council ever have a clean up or not we'll keep an eye on it and if they don't do much about it we thought about having um a little group clean up day or hour or two it shouldn't take very long it's probably about 200 plastic bottles so if we get 10 of us to do it everyone picks up 20 bottles we should be able to clean it up in within like half an hour an hour so we might do that so stay peeled for any it's like a little be a, be a little meet and greet and we can uh share war stories and show a few finds and clean up the uh clean up the thames a little bit luckily it's all been pushed up the um slipway so it's not in any great danger but yeah there's so much rubbish so many plastic bottles that just people just throw in the river um so yeah reuse and recycle guys don't don't use plastic bottles if you can because they just end up everywhere um yeah and i've found this today um 
one of these horrible beer cad things, so sliced it up and took it. Take it out of harm's way, so it all, all helps, isn't it? All right. Let's turn it onto the foreshore rather than my ugly muck. This looks like a little hose thing. Again, brass, so that'll be quite cool. Might use it in an upcycle. Got a very, I'm working on a very um, interesting upcycle this week. Um, all, I, all I'm going to say is it's an old oil can that I've made into a cabinet. And it looks dang good, even if I do say so myself. So that video will come out next Sunday, I think. Unless I decide to do a live a detectable. Not sure yet, I might do both. Um, but yeah, that'll be the next video. But a little bonus one today, I'm for sure. How do you choose? Oh, I missed that one, Brett. Sorry, mate, it disappeared. Ooh. Not sure how to get it up again. They, the, the chats, uh, they sort of come and go really quickly. Uh, what was that coin? Look at that. Are you put it just a penny. Yeah, just a penny. That's a coin. They're really hard to spot sometimes around here because there's so many rivets like this where they've been taking boats apart and working on ships and piers and stuff. They look like coins, but if you see anything, um, Drop it in the chat and I'll see if I can see if I can um, get it. Oh yeah, also um, the Thames Barrier, for you guys that don't live in London, there's a thing called a Thames Barrier and it's there to prevent flooding. Uh, and today, they've closed it. <laughs> and it's way, way, way down there. And they're gonna close it at 10 o'clock. And it's obviously gone past that now. Um, but we was really worried that the tide wouldn't go out because if they put the barrier up at sort of halfway between low and high tide, it wouldn't have gone out so much. But it seems to be pretty good. At least there's plenty of foreshore to search. Anybody call an Uber? Um, Deborah, I don't know. I think they just do um, they do maintenance on the thing, so they've got to check it's working. Oh, thank you, Kylie Adventures. Again, thanks uh, for the super chat. If you um, if you uh, email me, scifines at outlook.com, um, I'll get you a dress and ping you out one of those stickers. So we like to have a little scratch around. Lots of um, lots of metal work from all the years gone by. Again, there's no guarantee we're going to find anything as the way of the live goes. Oh, have you found something? Hello, Beth. I hope Rodney Cook is treating you well. Oh, a lens, did you say? Yeah, it's nice. I thought it was, um, I thought it was a bit of coal at first. Oh, cool. But it's part of a, what's it called a Fres Fresnel lens or something? Oh, like on a lighthouse. Yes. Nice. I think it is, anyway. Yeah, it would have refre refracted all the light, wouldn't it? Yeah. In those little triangles. Nice big chunk there. That's cool. Uh, nice bit of uh, tin Ooh. glaze. Beautiful. You're doing all right. Yeah, well, I'll just go in. Give us a little rinse off. Ah, cool. So what was I saying? Uh, yeah. So um, yesterday, myself and Sean, who you've probably seen in my gold panning video that I did last week, if you haven't watched that, go and check it out. 
good fun. We went kayaking on the Thames. And I'm knackered today because it was really hard work trying to, trying to paddle against the tide. Hey, where'd my foreshore go? Um, yeah, paddling against the, the tide is really hard work. So my back's, well, my shoulder blades are aching today, but it's a good ache. It's the sort of ache you get when you've done, you know you've been doing some work. Um, we went to some new parts of some foreshores and yeah, didn't get in any trouble. So it was a, a successful day. We didn't get, um, <laughs> didn't get any problems with, uh, with the police or anyone. Oh, there's that little coin. Oh look, a little shrimp on my finger. See that? Hello Kay. Thanks for joining. Oh, swing sloth. If you put a super chat, thank you so much. I appreciate it. But like I said, the messages sort of come and go because I'm looking through the viewfinder. Uh, the messages pop up for about two seconds and then disappear, which is frustrating. There might be another way to sort it out, but I don't do lives all that often, so I'm not super familiar with it, but yeah. Appreciate it. All the super chats gratefully received. All helps put, um, goes towards upcycling and petrol and charges and all that sort of stuff. Pays for the chicken feed, cat food, <laughs> that sort of stuff. I thought that was a ring then, but it's not. Well, it is a ring, but it's not a proper ring. It's just a little copper ring. See, this stuff now is like absolute rock hard. That's what name is Swing Sloth anyway. <laughs> Do you like sloths? It's a cool name though, I love sloths. They are the best animal, apart from cats and dogs. Oh, look, that looks like a coin, doesn't it? I mean, look, that's not though, it's a bit of, um, a bit of plastic. Oh, maybe it's a coin. Oh, flipping neck, it is a coin. Ha! Huh? Sorry if you didn't see that, guys, but that was literally sat there like that. Unbelievable. What's that then? Ooh, interesting. I think it might be. It's either a penny or, a, or one of those French. Um, Napoleon Toise. Or maybe it's a Georgian. Anybody make that out? Sorry if you get a bit of wind noise, guys. The wind's just picked up, so um, I apologise about that. It's a blank one for now, but it's a coin. I think it's probably a penny, although it doesn't really look like a penny. It looks like something else. When is my next video with Addicted to Bleeps? Well, we went out on the kayaks with, uh, along with Found in the Ground. Um, so we need to edit that. So there is one in the pipeline. That's cool, I'm still trying to work out what this coin is, I don't know. I think it's probably all, I think I can see a Victoria bus there looking, she's looking left. I think it's a, it's a Victorian penny, so that's cool. Nice. Well, if you've just joined the chat, thanks for joining. Um, Nick's down there. She's got a message in a bottle that we'll look at in a little while, so stick around. Should be good fun. And if you're from an exotic part of the world, it might be in a different language, so you might be able to help us out what it says. 
I said exotic, not erotic, by the way. That's a meteor blade. God, if only you can see what went back on, or went on, went on here, like, 100, 200 years ago. Yeah, Dubs and Buds, I did a video with North Mudlarks, they're absolutely wonderful ladies. Uh, went up to Berwick upon Tweed. So the video's out there, man, go and check it out. Basket, that shopping basket. Hello, Andrew. First time, mate. Glad to have you with us on this little mini mud venture. Oh, Nick's got the bottle, right, we're gonna have to race. Or race, but walk tentatively. Come in. Over. She's got a bottle, apparently, I think she said. Oh, is that clay pipe? One second. Hey, look, I just spotted that. That is a clay pipe, it's upside down. There we go, All right, we won't hang about anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm larking my way over to you, dear. That's pipe number five for the day. All these bricks have been stained by the rust. I think this is all chalk bed. Yeah, it's chalk. It's where they used to lay boats up on the foreshore to, to protect the bottom of their boats. They, um, they chalk down. So you know it's a good place to search sometimes because they've obviously got in and out of their boats a lot. Oh, that's a big old bone. Ooh, I'm hoping that's not human. There's a bit of leather, put your shoe under that. What age are we talking, Nick? Have you have you uh, have you extracted it yet? Oh, buckle! Oh, nice. I thought you said bottle. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's beautiful. Oh, well done. I wonder if it's silver. I think that could be silver. You know, if not, it's for... we'll have to give it the um, spit and foil test. Mm. Well, that's, that's so detailed, yeah, isn't it? it's lovely. Very fancy. Maybe it came from somebody's shoes, you reckon? I would have thought so. It's quite light, yeah. so yeah, that's lovely. Well done. It's like a little picture frame look. Yeah. <laughs> You're blurry though. Thanks. <laughs> Where'd you find it anyway? I'll nick your spot. Uh, just over here. <laughs> Yeah. Look, there's a, oh look, there's a shoe here. Let's see. I do. Part of a workman's shoe, possibly, coming out there. Yeah, I think I just walked past one myself. Yeah. I must admit, I'm not terribly good at preserving leather, and uh, so often I dig up a shoe and I'm um, afterwards, I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. <laughs> Watch it slowly decompose in front of your eyes yeah. and shrink and go crumbly. Here might be a good place to look. When I find the gold coin now, you'll be fuming. Yeah. Still on my wish list to find. Maybe I'll get one at Detective or who knows. Oh, I'm pleased with that bit of bottle. Oh, flipping egg, almost slips over. Ooh. Yeah, that's very nice. Very, very nice. I'd prefer it if it was 
It's like a little bullet. That's nice, very cool. Here, there is, absolutely. Yeah, they must have done a hell of a lot of work here in the past. I suppose you don't, you know, they didn't recycle a lot of it back then because it's like, especially during the war, when there was a short supply on iron, so much so they had to ask everyone to donate, they didn't think to come down here and pick up all the iron. Or well, maybe back then it was just full of mud. Oh, thank you, Lancashire mudlarks. Yeah, the coffee is expensive. Do you know what, right? I went to the pub on Friday with me mate uh, from uni. His name's Tony. Shout out to Tony if you're watching. Well, he will. But um, it was Brewdog and really nice beers in there. But one of the beers for a third of a pint was £5.50. So if you wanted a full pint of it, £16.50. But apparently it's really good stuff and it's like 10% or 11% strong flavoured with strawberries and stuff. It's like drinking wine, I suppose. Yeah, £16.50 for a pint. What a joke. But uh, I'll just stick to the Hazy Jane. If you've, ever, if you've never tried Hazy Jane, I recommend it. That looked good for a second. It's not. A couple of uh, lovely brass nails. Yeah, and I was talking to the barman, and I was like, "What's this drink? So, you know, what's this? What's that drink about then?" He's like, "Oh yeah, it's uh, doesn't really taste much of strawberry." And I was hoping he'd give me a sample, but I felt a bit cheeky asking for one. Actually, it was a Thursday. I remember now, and I thought maybe I don't want to drink too much because it's a school day. Oh yeah, also, I've got a present for Nick. So we'll do that as well later on. Not too, we're not gonna keep you for too long. I know you've got busy Sundays. Uh, so yeah, we'll do, um, we'll do a little swapsy of some gifts. One of which was uh, donated, I suppose, or given by Glenn from Peaky Blinders Magnet Fishing YouTube channel. So if you're watching Glenn, Happy Sunday to you, or happy side day, whatever you want to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, this load's not bad actually. A little better than I was hoping. Yeah, Deborah, you got all day. <laughs> as long as I'm back by 4.30 to watch a bit of football, I can stay as long as the tide allows me. New Orleans, Oxfordshire, Oregon. Wow, thanks guys for joining. Appreciate you uh, taking time out of your day or getting up early to watch us mooch around on the Thames. I say it's a glorious day here. It really is, and it's nice and the river's quite peaceful. How's Nelly? He's doing all right. Yeah, he's not too bad. He's put a bit of weight though recently, so he's on a diet. <laughs> Yeah, he's, oh, it's an iPhone. Yeah, he's a bit, he's a bit of a chubba. He loves his food. There's no battery in there, so it's not dangerous. Uh, yeah, he loves his food, so he's getting a bit porky. Oh, they're nice. What are they? It's like a funny little funky pair of scissors. Not old, but could be re reused. Yeah, they might come in handy for. It's like they're good for cutting copper or something. Too many dreamies. Yeah, they love them, didn't they? They love the dreamies. <laughs> trimming scissors. For trimming what though? Anything particular? Your beard? 
Looks like a nice old Is that a bottle? No, it's like a cheap pipe. <clears throat> oh, thought that was a ring for a second there. I don't think it is. Oh, it's a socket. Was it? Oh, a bit of toot. Wow, Daniel's in Brazil. Flipping heck. Trimming marijuana. <laughs> Probably, around here, yeah. Yeah, thanks for the super chats, guys. Like I say, email scifines at outlook.com and I'll send you a little sticker. It's not much, but um, like I said earlier, I had these printed up, so come and get them. Or if you're watching this in the replay, you can do it later and uh, get in touch. Bonsai trimmers, that's interesting. Yeah, my mate does that. It's quite therapeutic, apparently. Oh, it's the old, uh, the old Thames rockets. Taking people down. Yeah, Dave, you're absolutely right. I've got one on mine. Here he comes. Hello. Hey. Got a good story about those, those guys. I'm going to share it with you in a future video. There you go. How cool does that look on your phone? Nick Spanner. We like spanners here, don't we, guys? That last upcycle I did was pretty epic with the uh, huge spanner, about three times the size of that. That looks cool. I might come back for that later. Yeah, Perjo, grab, grab a. Grab a sticker for your luggage. Look at this, guys. Look, this, I've got a funny story yesterday. This exact same bike, not the this actual bike, but this is a, an electric hire bike thing. You've probably got them in wherever you are. But for some unknown reason, people like to throw them over the side of the river wall. So buffoons decide it's funny in their drunken state to throw them in and then become completely useless. So I was like, roughly where the end of that thing is over there, I came up the steps wherever I was and a, a Portuguese guy was like, someone's left their bike down there. But he didn't understand what I was saying. So I said, well, it's a hire bike. It doesn't, you know, it's no one's bike. It's just a hire bike. He's like, no, 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 it's someone's bike. It's someone's bike. So I walked all the way down about 150 yards thinking he'd probably want to use the bike to restore it or something, or at least give it back to the company. And these back wheels, they usually lock. So look, you can't, they lock when they're kind of not in use. The front wheel one, the front should work. Although that's pretty knackered and all. But they do, the front ones move. Anyway, I lugged it all the way back on the front wheel because the back wheel didn't work. And he was like, oh, right, yeah, thanks. I said, well, what are you going to do with it then? He's like, oh, no, I just thought it was someone's bike. <sighs> so flipping it. So I just lugged the bike 150 yards when I'm knackered already from the kayaking trip just for you to say you didn't want it. But in another world, he would have said, oh yeah, I can do something with that. There's me thinking I can, you know, repurpose stuff and he could repurpose the bike. No, just, just wanted to tell me that there's a bike there and maybe I should go and bring it back to someone. I'm not really realizing it's a hire bike. <clears throat> but I have located, I've marked the spots of these bikes 
So I'm gonna get in touch with that lime company because they got they got to be expensive to buy. They're about three grand off the shelf. So they, they're, they're not cheap. Plus they're full of big batteries. So probably best out of the river, but it doesn't stop people from throwing them in. And I used to think, why are people throwing in bikes that they've hired? Because surely they'll find out and then get charged. But obviously people ride them, get off, and then someone else comes along and chucks them in. Idiots. Well, that's like a cannonball. It's not though. Did you guys see the uh, 12 pounder that I found the other week? That was brilliant. It's currently in a uh, bucket of water. My bag over there. Oh, it's really hot. Yeah, cheers, Kim. 12 pounder. And I, I detected that and I thought, I was digging up plenty of iron. I thought, oh, here we go, just another lump of iron. But yeah, it was great seeing that little round, roundness of the ball. <laughs> How's uh, Steve? Steve's well. Yeah, I went down to Cornwall, saw Steve. We uh, we um, contemplated taking the hovercraft out, but it wasn't quite ready. Um, hadn't been used in a while. Plus, we had other ideas. We went out on the kayaks in the sea, but it didn't really go according to plan because it was uh, too choppy. I mean, the waves were about three foot high, which is fine. Doesn't bother me having high waves. Trouble is, there's rocks everywhere. And on the Cornish coast, if, you, if one takes you and then you smack your head, um, yeah, it's game over. So we'd had a little paddle, but we didn't go very far. And then we did some metal detection the day after. But yeah, Steve's good. Still working on the house and stuff. So um, yeah, he's a busy boy. So hopefully we'll do a few videos in the future. But as he's moved so far away, I don't get to go out with him as much as I'd like to, but I'm going out with Mark. Hovercraft Mark, hopefully you're watching Hovercraft Mark. Mark. Hello Mark, if you're watching mate, I know you're out there on the Hovercraft today. Sorry if I'm with you, I hope you're having some lucky with Mark. You know, Nicholas found a button. Take a look. Well, that's for us to judge. Yeah, you're right, it's not very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an early one though. Yeah. 1800s. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Would you like to have a gift? Me? Yeah. Of course. I'm not going to say no to the gift. Okay, fine. Do you want to come over to, or do you want to keep on searching for a little while? Um, just have a quick look here. All right, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do another five minutes here because if you found a button well, and. Uh, near where I found the bottle, so. All right, we'll have a little scooch here and we'll, we'll do. Uh, do a couple of uh, exchanges of gifts. As, like I said, I went out with um, Glenn and Steve and Marie from Peaky Blinders. Lovely bunch they are. And they were kind enough to offer us some presents. Oh, um. Deborah would like to know how your baby squirrels. Oh, I, um, well, they're not coming round all that much at the moment. I think there must be plenty for them to eat out in the garden. So hopefully, when it gets a bit colder and they're a bit hungrier, yeah, they'll come back to the window still. But I've got my fox coming and lots of finches at the moment. So oh, and nice. parakeets as well. Cool. So, have you filmed the parakeets? Uh, yes, I have. Yeah, I, I, and I'm going to film them again. Oh, cool. Bright green there. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Here we go. This is a nice little update. Um, yeah, Steve's VW Beetle, right? He, uh, thanks for the question. Um, he has, I think it's still in storage because when he moved, he had to put everything in storage. Uh, but he's bought a donor beetle as well because it's absolutely roached. I've got a picture of it. Maybe I'll put it online or something. 
keep your down up there. I'm trying to do a live. Oh, it's all go today. Um, so he bought this donor beetle, which he's going to use. Hello. He's going to use to uh, take some parts off it because he wanted the windows out of it or something. <laughs> this looks like Minecraft. Any, anybody play Minecraft or know of anyone, any kids who like Minecraft? That's a Minecraft dude, isn't it? I reckon so. Don't know what character it is. It looks like one though. <laughs> hello, John. I'll say hello to you. <clears throat> Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a part of a mallet. That's really cool. Mm. Yeah, uh, what's the underneath like? Oh, a nice big kick up, yeah. My little, um, I've got a little Minecraft man. He can, <laughs> he's got a little Minecraft tower now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> cute. Yep, all sorts of stuff to be found down here. Not necessarily old, but... Always fun and interesting. Oh, what's that? Oh, Nick, you got to show us the. Um... Can you show us your plaque? Nick, you, got, yeah. you, got, you show us that plaque you found, or. So I think this is an Indian offering. Like a little dish. Oh, there's, there's a little hole there. Yeah, well, actually, they're really good actually because I found something earlier and uh, I managed to Google it. There you go, Nick's found a beautiful part of a brass plaque. So it's got obviously Liverpool, I would have thought, on the bottom, because it's got the R there. And then it's got, yeah, ON Something. and Co Limited. Something. And there's, and it says type. Yeah. Or oh, is that tyre? I that... don't know. No, it's type, T-Y-P-E. Yeah, and some, Something here, an R and an S. So if anyone can, uh, if anyone feels like a challenge <laughs> to try and find out what that would have been, then good luck. <laughs> yeah. Have I found something I rather I hadn't found? Um, I found a dead seagull yesterday. That wasn't very pretty. Literally, as I was getting to the kayak, it just rolled onto my foot. <laughs> That's the late one. There's been a few things, I don't know. Nothing really gruesome, thank goodness. I've seen a few bodies floating past, but the PLA or the police seem to get on that very quickly. No, I don't mind. It's all it's all uh, an interesting um, you know, picture of life in London. So whatever it may be, I can, you know, unless it's something really gross. Oh, that's all built up picture. Okay, cool. Well, uh, this will be, um, yeah, not, this is a nice little scraping opportunity here. Oh, Nick, do you like, you like red glass? What's that red? Is that? Yeah, that's orange. Gonna give it some glass for a fish. I'm picking up pieces of um, blue glass for Nick. She gives me toy cars in return. It's a great deal. It's under you. Coinish. No, rivet. Well, I really want to see what's in that message in that bottle. I don't know about you. Is this first? Is this the first live? No, Bonnie, I've done a few in the past. Probably do one every six months or so. Maybe maybe a bit more often. I did one, I think the last one I did was at Detectable. I think that was the last one. Mm 
<clears throat> right, let me get stuff out of my bag. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put you down here for two seconds. really uh resolution is odd anyway right let's get to the uh gifting section of the show have <laughs> a little drink of water okay. yeah please sweaty isn't it Ooh. midday sun but here you are. Look, that's what um that's what i was doing yesterday <laughs> oh thanks Is that gin? <laughs> no, vodka. <laughs> right, so, um, yep, Glenn, lots of Glenn, Marie, and Steve from Peaky Blinders um, uh, metal, uh, Magnificent Channel uh, had a bit of luck in the river not too long ago, and they gave us two of these each to share. Really? Yeah. Two, two each to share? So there's four of so these two things. Two each. So yeah. we got yeah, we one of each, right? And this is what they are, look. Oh, wow. Look How cool those. is that? Do they get those with magnets? Yeah, they, they magnet fish, they magnet fish the river. And oh, uh, they yeah. are so nice. And they, they, they obviously got the Thames on them. They're Thames Conservancy yes. plates. I found a few of these with, with them. They didn't, they yeah. were so, they were so chuffed because they'd never seen two come up with one magnet and I just had the luck that day. You know, they found this little spot and they've, uh, yeah, they've kindly gifted us a few. Look at the dates, look, 1933, 1948. So we get one white one and one blue one each. Oh, fantastic. So, yeah, shout out to Glenn and, yeah. and the guys. Thank you very much, yeah. Glenn and Marie and... Steve. Steve. Yeah. Glenn and Marie and Steve, thank you very much. Do you know what I'm going to do with these? I'm going to put them on my studio door. Oh, cool. Yeah. They look very nice. Do you have any particular ones that you want? Do you want the 69? Mm -hmm. What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> we'll sort out later. We'll sort out later. But yeah, we'll put them in there for now, and we'll uh, okay. We'll, um, we'll dish them up later. Oh, so, so yeah, I've got a present in here as well that somebody sent me for you. Lucky me. Oh, 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 Blimey, I thought I'm the man with spanners. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Freaking hell. Oh. Imagine the, the the size of the nut <laughs> that you would need. Are you thinking about big nuts again? <laughs> <laughs> that is a big spanner, isn't it? <laughs> that is huge. Right, well, it's there. Although, if you need it. Some people would call it a wrench, you know. Oh, is it a wrench? No, it's a spanner. We call it a spanner over here. Okay. Yes, so Ooh. Niall Phillips sent um, me a really lovely Georgian here? style tavern mug. You know, I found one some time mm. ago in Greenwich. I found mm. a tavern mug from Georgian times in pieces. Yeah. And I managed to stick it together, most of it anyway. Um, so Lyle Phillips, who's a potter, there he is, oh, cool. Lyle Phillips potter, he made some mugs in the same style as these Georgian tavern mugs. Wow. So, oh, I love it. Isn't that nice? That's cracking. Uh, yeah, so instead of an excise mark, it's got his mark oh here, nice I suppose. so it really is so it's, it's like it salt glazed is, stonework yeah it's salt glazed because they, they, they make this by throwing salt don't they into the kiln during the firing process and it gives all unexpected results but that's lovely yeah so you'll be able to sit there with your cup of tea and your georgian pipe oh, and right. feel like a georgian <laughs> you can put a wig on with some wood curls. oh that was that that was a great well. idea yeah smoke me a pipe so yeah thanks very much lyle yeah thanks lyle um, they, really they are that, really Great these mugs, absolutely lovely. Perfect for a morning cup of tea. Oh yeah. Cup of coffee. I'm definitely gonna use that and it's about the same sort of size as my mud lover cup, which I smashed. I smashed one the other day by accident. I was doing my patio and it knocked off and I smashed it, so that'll be a lovely replacement. So thanks again, Lyle. Really appreciate you, mate. What, a, what an amazing talent, let alone present. And uh yeah, I think yeah. it's absolutely gorgeous. So nice thank you so much, appreciate that. Talking of um, you smashing a mug with your logo on it, Simon has a size i find has <laughs> designed me a really nice logo ages ago and it's really nice 
Do you think I should get some mugs and t-shirts? Would anybody be interested in that if I got some? I'm sure they would be. Yeah. <laughs> the comments are flooding in. <laughs> <laughs> they better be. They better be flooding in. <laughs> yeah, we'll Is definitely make that. There? Or not? No, it's a little nut. This, it's a rivet. Oh, there's so many rivets pretending to be. Like... So, do you yeah. want me to put it back in my bag? Cheers. To cheers to Lyle. So, and, yeah, uh, cheers, Lyle. Yeah, if you're getting many yeses, yes, please do it. Yes, go on, Nicola, do it. Yes, okay. yes, 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 right, yes, 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 yes. There's many yeses. Okay, um, I'll get on the case. It's a really nice, really nice logo. I want a stripy one. It's got. I can't remember. What, it's so long ago now since I've done it. I can't remember what it was. I know. It's got. Um, it's got. Uh, it's got a butterfly on there and stuff like that. It's all got the Nicholas' favourite little things on to make a nice little, uh, little logo stroke emblem. Yeah, it's got the Nicholas' favourite little things on to make a nice little emblem. Yeah, it's got the Nicholas' favourite little things on to make a nice little emblem. Yeah, it's got the Nicholas' favourite little things on to make a nice little emblem. Yeah, it's got the Nicholas' favourite little things on to make a nice little emblem. Yeah, it's got the Nicholas' favourite little things on to make a nice little emblem. Yeah, it's got the Nicholas' favourite little things on to make a nice little emblem. Yeah, it's got the Nicholas' favourite little things on to make a nice little emblem. Yeah, it's got the Nicholas' favourite little things on to make a nice little emblem. Yeah, it's got the Nicholas' favourite little things on to make a nice little emblem. Yeah, it's got the Nicholas' Challenge. Uh, let's see if we can get it out. If not, you may have to smash it. Uh, or oh, we just got we got some bits of. Uh, does it smell? Does it smell? Whiny. It smells whiny. Right. Let's see if we can get it out. Oh, I think chances are we're going to have to smash it. I think okay. to get it out. So how can we do that without creating great devastation everywhere? Maybe we could. Um, Use a spanner. <laughs> I could put it in a bag, and then all the glass is contained in a bag. Yeah, we've got and one. Then I can, yeah, and then I can throw, throw it away. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, so what we're going to do, because we don't want to get glass all over the foreshore, um, we will... Oh, I've got a smaller one here, actually. Right, so we'll put oh, it in this a is, bag, smash This is it. exciting. It's a bit like yeah. a Greek wedding, isn't it? Okay, oh, so. no, what, is it, what, what do they do when they smash the bottle one? Is it a, is it a Jewish wedding? When they smash the bottle under the foot? No, I'm not smash it. I used to smash it. I you think you've got, to use, you've got to use a spanner, haven't you? <laughs> So, this is quite ceremonious. Put it on the, uh, let's put it over here. Careful. Okay, Careful. ready? Should, should have a countdown. You know, how hard are you going to hit? You took it like a massive backswing. You don't need that much. It's only a... No. Oh. Hey, hallelujah. Okay, we've smashed the bottle. So, here is the note. Oh. Oh yes, I think we're going to be able to read it. You know, is it in a is it in our native language? I'm not sure. Of of, of uh, East London. Let's see. It is a little is it, bit wine is it, is drenched. It, is it red winey? Let's, um, let's put it down here. Um, Wouldn't have lasted much. Oh, it does smell, doesn't it? Yeah. Are you gonna are you gonna uh, vet oh. it first before you? Uh... Well, I just want. I don't want to um, ruin it. Uh, hang right. on. Let's see. That's all right. We, we like a bit of tension here. You don't have to rush it. <laughs> oh, do you want me to lift this one at the same time as you lift that one? Yeah, but, but it's, oh, it's right, really yeah. well. It's like my handwriting. It's all like um, folded all over the place. It's really weird. So, might be a couple of sheets folded together. Oh, I'm making a right pig's ear of this, aren't I? Well, it's not easy, is it? Uh... Yeah, take your time. There's no rush. Okay. Oh. That one goes over there. Okay. Salam. This one folds down, look. It looks like it might be a bit of a sad letter, actually. Let, let's have a look. Um, I can't, yeah, I can't work out where this. Oh, okay. Is this coming down there like, no? That's stuck to that, so you've got to unstick that. There you go, you've done it. Oh. This one's a bit funny though. Why is that all back to front? Yeah, because there's uh, some here, look, as well. Oh, okay, blimey. He's written a freaking essay, whoever this was. Oh, so you can, un that will go underneath. No, no, so pull, pull that one from behind, I think. Oh. There we go, yeah. There we go. Oh. So it says, Salam, I don't even know what to write in this letter because 
You literally know everything I want to say all the time, which is, by the way, really scary and well, it looks sus. As if it's, um... oh, maybe, so maybe, maybe his friend has died. It looks like somebody's uh, lost somebody, doesn't it? He's just well, saying goodbye to someone. Yeah, he is. He's saying goodbye to somebody. And actually, often people do that in bottles, messages in bottles, because it kind of, it's like bottling up your Sets them feelings. Free. And uh, so yeah. they're saying, yeah, thank you for the countless memories we made and the countless ones we'll make in the future. You're everything, Rizzy. Okay. <laughs> so many more in Shah Allah. Yesterday, we FaceTimed for hours until we passed out. And I can't think of anything else that makes me happier. You make me feel like I'm home all the time and I love you for that. So I don't think they passed away. I think no. he's just missing someone or well, she's missing someone. Look, come home or soon like... Oh, okay. Soon. Yeah, maybe they've just flown away. And who, what's the, is oh, there a name on there? Look. Oh, can, we say, can you make that bit out there and just give a shout out to whoever that was? Shani or someone like that? Might be Hanny. Yeah. So there we go. Whoever wrote this, it, it, it got read by someone. Um, yeah. Just, just love... If I pull this down, do you reckon you can unfold that bit there? Oh, that, that bit is there then. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go, look. There we go. There go. That might make a bit of sense. <laughs> well, let's get, yeah, I can take a photograph of it as well. Did, did some of it just fall down there? No. Uh, yeah, it did. Okay. There we go. Yeah, and if you're ever going to write a message in a bottle, make sure all the wine's been drunk first. <laughs> yes. And you think... Oh, look. Along with this letter are two things. A sample of my perfume that I wore... On June the 2nd. Second Mac Day, and your, and oh. your favourite picture of us both. Maybe oh, there's a picture in there. There's a picture in there as well. I didn't see a picture. No, there's no picture in there. Maybe, um, maybe the picture got lost. Well, they didn't have a picture. There we go, guys. That is a message in a bottle. I'll take a <laughs> photograph of it so that I can... Uh... So what do, what do people think that one should do with the message in a bottle? That's the question. Should I leave this here to just dissolve into the river? Or should I take it home and preserve it? What do you think? There's always a lot of debate about messages in bottles. Should this stay in the River Thames? Obviously, we're not going to leave the plastic on the glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But should I take it, put it in my message in a bottle folder? Yeah, you should do. Put it in your folder. Because mm. it's a reference to things that have gone on. It's almost like a diary. Yeah. And someone in the future might appreciate the... Because it's a little snapshot of life, isn't it? They're talking about yeah. base timing. Yeah. Uh, and other bits and bobs. So it's almost like... It's a, and, you know, like a little plane there. And, yeah. You know, it's almost like a little snapshot. Like in 100 years, they'll go... Oh yeah, remember, yeah, that's true, remember actually. FaceTime, that was a weird thing. And remember, yeah. you know, like FaceTimes for hours until we've asked out, you know, and it's a, it's a nice letter. It's not, um, no. it's not too remorseful. No, I mean, there are letters that I have left in the river when they're saying goodbye to somebody who's died and I yeah. feel it's the right thing to, to leave them. But yeah, I, I think this, this is a good one. This is, obviously, to go in this is obviously to a friend who's left and gone yeah. back home or whatever. It looks like, yeah, look, so you've got Hanny now. Hanny. I think you'd, you'd be fine to put that in your folder of... Uh... <laughs> I'd like, what does it say? I, have, I would give everything I have to go back to any of those days or even before that, all the way back to Zach's birthday in Fudge Rackers. <laughs> we highly owe that dumbass a lot, LMAO. Between then and now, we've had some pretty legendary days and I want you to know that there will be so many more, inshallah, than yesterday. What's Shah Allah? Is that heaven? Oh, OK. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that. Oh, well, that's a nice letter. That's a good one. Anybody, that's any sweet. comments on there saying what to do with it? Um, I, I, I think, I don't know, what do you guys think? Should, uh, should it go in the folder of um, Long Lost River Letters? I think it deserves a, yeah, a spot in there. It's, it's, not, it's not mourning a lost a loved one and it's not any traumatic experience that they would like to free be free of by throwing it in the, in the river. Um, I think it should go in the folder of... Is there a name for this folder? I've got um, River Stories. Oh, there we go. Yeah. In fact, I've got 
almost, well, I've got over 130 messages, I'm a reference to anyway. And so I really should do a video about them, shouldn't I? Mm. Do you know what I wanted to do actually is maybe invite viewers to read one of the letters and it be like a collaboration. So I would say I've got so many letters and, and see who wants to read them out. That would be yeah. a good idea. And then they can send me the recordings. I'll send them a letter, yeah. like email. Mm -hmm. They send me the recording and then we do a video about messages and bottles found in the River Thames. That sounds very sweet. Yeah, nice, a nice snapshot of time. Talking of time, I think, uh, yeah, we might have to call it a date there, I think. Well, we don't have to. We carry on going if you want. Just thinking about you guys. <laughs> you might have a Sunday to, you might have um, cars to clean and so things to do. Home. Should I take that big spanner home? Yeah. Should I? I think you should do an upcycle on the spanner side. <laughs> well, I can do, I suppose. Make a cool sign, wouldn't it? Yeah, so I'll give you five minutes. Let's take, let's take it up to an hour and then uh, call it a day, I think. The tide's slowly coming in anyway. We've lost that a bit of foreshore sure. was on a minute ago. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Carry on larking. <laughs> Sounds like a good film, doesn't it? Ooh, uh, carry on larking. I'm going to wander down there a little bit. I think there was a little patch that was quite interesting. Yeah. You, you, yeah, yeah, we're still there. We're gonna do. We're gonna do another five minutes or so. Uh, an old hag. <laughs> yeah, New Zealand sounds wonderful. I've often thought about that. New Zealand would be beautiful to visit. Anyway, the world's cool. It's all got its different cultures and stuff. Mad how many rivets are in this spot, look. Wow. Must have had a riveting shop and had a riveting time. Sorry. from Germany, guten tag. Wie heißt du? Ich heiße Simon. That's about as much German as I remembered from school. But my mate Jules, he's um, he's fluent in German. I haven't seen him in a little while. He's been uh, incredibly busy. Oh, Francis, oh, I just missed that. France, we found, we found out what the plaque is. No. We think it's Fr Francis Motten or something like that, but Who? Francis Motten, no. I think he said, it, it flashed up and it disappeared too quickly to see. But if you watch back the replay, okay. you can see the name. Francis Motten and Co. Yeah, so it's gonna be, oh, 69 minutes. We've done over an hour. I thought that said 59, flipping heck. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for that. Thanks for helping us out with the um, research. Really appreciated. Uh, do you want to start wandering back then? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think so. Right, guys. 
I'm going to call it there. The sun is so bright, I can barely see the screen. So thanks for all the lovely comments. The tide is working its way in now. We don't want to get cut off. So thank you so much for joining us today. Hope you've enjoyed it. This is what actual mud larkins like. Tune in to me at five. Oh yeah, Nicola's got a video out at five. Um, if I've missed anyone out, I'm sorry, but the, the, the comments flash up really quickly, so I don't always get a chance to read them. Plus, I'm mudlarking and stuff like that. But thank you very much for any super chats. Remember, any super chat, email me, scifines at outlook.com. Give me your address and I'll send you a sticker. I think that's pretty much it. If you go into Detectable, I'll see you there, hopefully. And we're going to probably organise a little clean up at some point on the Thames, hopefully. Depends if the council let us. It might be funny about gatherings and whatnot. So we'll make some inroads to that. But again, thanks very much for joining us, guys. Have a wonderful Sunday. See you next Sunday for my video. Nick's video is out today at 5 so uh, 5 UK time. 5 o'clock. So, is it mudlarking? Yes. There we go. So, you can go see some more mudlarking later on if you want. Thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you on the next mud venture. Stay safe, mud lovers. Bye. Love you all. Thank you so much. Now, watch me try and hang up. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you later, guys. <laughs>